Good morning. Here we are at Port Columbus International Airport. And just like that, we're in Alaska. Hi, I'm Judy, and this is my best friend, Cindy. We are starting a new adventure as we get ready to move from the heartland of Ohio to the breathtaking wilderness of Alaska. We can't wait to share our exciting experiences from the challenges we face to the victories we achieve and even the silly antics along the way. Our goal is not only to entertain you, but also to inspire you with the incredible beauty that Alaska has to offer. Welcome to our channel. Hey guys, we're pretty thrilled to be up here in Alaska checking on the progress of our build and they have done so much here. We're also fixing up the little cabin. Uh, we went on a big shopping spree and got a bunch of stuff, ordered some stuff ahead of time, which didn't necessarily work out with Home Depot, but that's another story. So we still need to get a couple bed frames and we're working on that. Our hope is to be able to stay in the little cabin while we work on the big cabin in September. Uh, so we'll be back up here pretty soon. So stay tuned and see how everything goes. Thanks for joining us. Here we are, getting ready to turn the corner and see the cabin on the property for the first time. But before... We're all the way to gas. There she is. There's the there is. little cabin. Here's the big cabin. Wow. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Look at that. It's all right. It's so quiet here. I like the big... I can't get over how big it is. I know. It's huge. It didn't look that big in the pictures, did it? Nope. Why don't you walk on up to it? I'm going to peek in our front window. Smells good. There's our steps going down. So this is our living room. Goes back to the kitchen, bathroom in the middle with that little window in the middle, Cindy's bedroom, my bedroom, the loft, you're the first one to cross the, should I carry you over the threshold? Yes. <laughs> What do you think? I think this looks huge. And then at the same time you come in, you're like, we better get along real well. Where are we going <laughs> to put all our stuff? Yeah. Well, one can be upstairs, one can be downstairs. Because the living room, this will be a wall, right? Yeah. The burning fireplace is going to go here. Yeah. And then the Arctic entry probably comes to... There's our sauna tubes underneath the bedroom side of the house, sitting basically on concrete um, columns. There's a crawl space under... This black part is crawl space. Space down you went there. down there? Yeah. So you won't be able to see this. 
because there will be a wall and then there will be a door to these steps and a door to my room right there where the scaffolding is. And then my, my room is and that here. front wall. And then there's going to be a wall between those two windows that will separate our bedrooms. And the loft actually goes right up there. Front door will go right here. The burning stove. Is that sand hill cranes? So this will be the window to our bar. Well, we won't have this pile of dirt and rocks. That'll all be smoothed out. Hey, guess what we're going to do today? What? We're going to take time and thank God for the cabin. And to do that, the way we're going to do it is we're going to have communion. We're going to pray. We're going to write scripture on the walls. And you did something pretty special that you're going to leave somewhere in the cabin for Sorry. future owners. What's that? Well, I wrote a story, um, just our whole Alaska story when it started in 2018 up to now. Cool. And so we're going to put that for future owners to discover. Uh, kind of a little time capsule sort of thing. Fun. their chariots and some their horses, but we will praise the name of the Lord, our God. They're taking the old stove, they're taking the old stove out of the cabin. That thing was a nightmare to move, as you can see, the equipment, <laughs> but hey, four girls got it out there. Today is property cleanup day. We got three really strong, strapping Alaskan men out here helping us. They're getting lots of stuff, lots of junk, getting rid of the old canoe. They're taking that. There's Miss Cindy. Oops, she didn't hear me. And just like that, it's they got up. it. Ha ha! I'm going down <laughs> to get the motor, the block, and the uh, stove. Project time. Project time. Putting our kitchen together. <clears throat> if you want to call it that, sure. This is our little kitchen. Got some decorations. We got our solar lights. We bought this stuff at the thrift store today. I found this really cool wolf plate. I love it. All the white dishes will go in our new cabin up on the open shelving. And that stuff down there is just storage. And then that cart is probably going to be our laundry cart in the new cabin. There's our new mosquito netting that we put up. Mosquito screen. This is our table. Looks nice. It's getting there. Now go. The pressure's on, man. Target's over there. Ooh, you made the board. <laughs> I'm 
consistently bad. All right, who's who's the red one on there? Wow, the look at that. The red one? The yeah. bullseye right here? Yeah, who, who threw the red ones? I think that was you. Here yeah. she goes. Did you hit the button this time? Yes, she had a bullseye the last time. Whoops. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I can beat that. It'll be fun coming back up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. good for the knee. Good for the knee. It's going to be fun to come back up here. Try. Okay, I didn't put the camera away so I don't break my neck. What is it? What kind of feather? It's a feather for your hat. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'll keep it forever and ever and ever. Yeah, okay. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. What are you doing? I think you're tired. <laughs> you are now slap heavy. <laughs> Peppers. Better watch for me, sirs. Oops. We had all the wood and the pallets. On this the just goes around in a circle. Look at that. That's a big moose. Look at that. There's a bunch of moose poop right here. Or is it? Or is it? Check this out. Dun, dun, dun. We've got one transplanted. We're going to transplant a few of these trees down this path where they dug it up.
Here are all my little trees I planted yesterday. Aren't these things cute? I like these things. I don't know what they are. I need to look them up. There's a tree there. This is to replace what they tore down. There's a tree there. Tree there. I don't walk very well, sorry. Tree there. Tree there. And while I'm planting trees, Cindy's cutting a thing. And the tree, that's the biggest one right there. Yep. And this is what Cindy did. She cut them down. Cut a bunch down. Wow, he cut a lot of trees down. Mm -hmm. A lot of trees down there. Cut down. One, two. Okay, I think our mission has been accomplished here. Got the two beds, got the curtains up, got the table, mosquito net, and a little makeshift kitchen for our coffee pot and whatnot. It's finished. Oh, I have to show you these. I got these at the thrift store. These are for the big cabin, check this out. I got bears with little flowers, bison, those are just plain. So, the big ones, this is my favorite right here. The wolf. Isn't that cool? I originally just got one to display. But then I went back, I thought, I gotta get that whole set because they're pretty cool. And I've got bowls and the big bear plate. So when people come over, we're gonna have cool dishes to serve them on. This one's got a chip out of it, but I'll use that one. So it's okay. And I love that wolf. It's pretty cool. So all white dishes. And by the way, we bought the mattresses, but the box spring in the frame was given to us by the guy building our house. And this one, the box spring in the frame, we got for 10 bucks at the thrift store. And we already had this mattress too. We got a mattress in a box. So they're actually very comfortable. And we got, this is my bed. It has the elk and the bear. We just don't need headboards, but that's okay. Um, Cindy's bed, got the bear print and the bear. Pretty cool. Good morning. Good morning. Where are we going? Denali National Park. Yes, we are. How exciting. Look, I got my Denali hat. Got my Denali shirt. I look like a tourist. Well, you kind of are. But today's adventure is not so much to see Denali. If it peeks out, that's great. But we want to go see some animals. We're spotting some uh, grizzlies at the Savage River. Do you want to do a wager? <laughs> uh, I'm not feeling very lucky. You're not? No. 50 bucks for a bear. What? 50 bucks for a bear. 100 bucks for a wolf. Thir 40 for a kit now. 30 for a caribou. 20 for a moose. I don't know that I'm up for that. Because I'm driving. What, are you scared? Yes, because <laughs> you have the undistracted ability. Sorry, we're on a gravel road. To drive home. Um, Look while well, I'm trying to drive. But you're but looking the I whole time you're driving. Yeah, yeah, you got a monarch. You can drive like this. Yeah, yeah right. Easy. I'm pretty sure that won't work so well. <laughs> you can drive around like this. Looking, looking, looking. One eye. You got one yeah. eye on the road and one I eye. I can see cause of death. Uh, use of a monarch. How did a monarch <laughs> kill them? They were trying to use it while drive. Yeah, they're not from around here, are they? Nope. Sorry about the bounciness of this video. Okay. We're trying to get out of the driveway. At the leaning, what are we? Um, the leaning birch. Birch something. Bending birch. The leaning bending birch. birch. No, it's not bending birch. So we'll it turn it around bending. so you can see our pitch. That's the garage. That's not where we're staying. Although it's probably larger. <laughs> it, <laughs> it is, is larger. larger than the cottage. <laughs> so here's the little cottage where we're staying right now. It's very cute. It is cute. It's very quaint. And then we're headed out the driveway. Here we go.
So we've been here, what, six days? No, five, uh, shoot. Since Saturday. Today Since Saturday. Thursday. So however many days that is. Yeah. And what we get done? We got the bed done, the beds, which didn't turn beds. out the way we thought it would. Yeah. So we had the beds from Home Depot. We saved hundreds of dollars by going to the thrift store and having one gifted to us. Yeah. Um, we had an opportunity to gift a canoe and a carport that's going to get turned into a greenhouse. It's all a barter system around here, isn't well, it? Well, yep. Where your handshake still matters, <laughs> which is appreciated. Got to meet the builder, the owner of the company. We just hit water at 105 feet at about 80 gallons a minute plus. Great water. Really Lots clear of water. Tons of pressure. So good for that. And then... The bird's cut. not liking us being here. No, nope, bird doesn't <laughs> like us. Don't know where it is. I'll show you. Then we got to... Um, we got to meet a moose today. Got to meet a moose. Sorry, I'm distracted. Really close. So we're at Denali <laughs> National Park. We're going less than a quarter of a mile. Turn right to go down a path to cut back to the parking lot and I hear a crack. I'm like, hold on, I hear something. And I look to my left and probably, we'll say less than five yards, is a moose. She takes off walking down the trail, beat, beat feet. I just started to turn. I'm like, no, I need to keep eyes on the so moose. I'm out. And then I said a bad word, which I will not repeat. <laughs> um, so I turned to look at the moose and his ears. See, it's a bull moose. Um, I'll tell you how fast I got out. I didn't even know that. I'm just, I didn't even see the antlers. I'm like, I'm out. Turned around and left. So, <laughs> poor Cindy. That's all right. <laughs> I actually told you to go ahead of me. Um, but his ears didn't get pinned back. He was moving his ears just to hear what you would expect. So we made distance, got distance, tried to take a picture. Got a picture, you could barely see him, which tells you how easy it is to miss him. Because right now they're a light brown. And then he took off into the woods. Other people went after him in the woods. Don't do this to take pictures. Not smart. Even though it's the mamas uh, that you need to be worried about now, it's never good to go chase a wild animal. So we learned how to react. Um, and we learned that no matter how close you are to wherever you're headed, anything can happen at any time. So let that be a lesson to all of us. Um, we came back. They hit water at 105 feet. We shared that. Cut down a bunch of trees, cleaned up a bunch of all the construction debris. It's a clean site now, so that's all gone. Windows are on their way. Um, roof is on its way, so it'll be buttoned up pretty tight here for too long. <clears throat> got paint? Yeah, we got paint for the outside. They're going to spray it. Um, it's black, and literally the color is black. I think we landed on the paint colors on the inside. Yeah. Oh, we met with the solar people. Um, oh, yeah. Big decisions to make there on the Sorry, generator was, size was and back here. Um, whatnot, but feel more comfortable and confident. <laughs> Overall, everyone we met's been super nice. Um, start to feel like home. Definitely.